Okay. So, let me get back to OBS. Okay, well, welcome, attempt two, to the Capital Region Smash Podcast, Melee Edition. Uh, I'm joined by Bills and the currently quiet Danny Man. Um, we'll, uh, we'll figure out what's up with his Damn. life as soon as he comes back. Uh, Billy, you can try to figure that out. Um, but today we're going to talk about uh, a variety of things, such as what's going to happen with the new ladder. Ooh, what are we going to announce? What are we going to announce, in better words? Um, what else are we going to talk about? Upcoming season, that's a thing. Uh, there's this new bi-weekly in town. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, any other topics? We'll, we'll get to them as we... Uh, yeah, ladder, bi-weekly, and uh, specifically the pro amateur doubles event oh, at the yeah, ladder. That's, that's something on... Uh, well, without Danny Man, we can talk about the bi-weekly first, if you want. Danny Man uh, ran the ladder last last season, so he's going to have more to say about that. So we're going to keep you guys waiting for the big announcement. Um, Dandy, can you hear us? I'm sure whenever he hears us, he'll just say something. Just uh, type it in and say... Like just just come in talking as soon as it works out. Um, also, maybe remove him and add him back. You handle that. I've tried. I've tried um, that. All right, you you can say your thing then. Okay. Well, yeah. So there's a bi-weekly. Uh, we had one less than two weeks ago. We're gonna have one less than a week uh, from today. That's this upcoming Sunday, the twenty-second. Um, that's at Next Level Gaming with Melee and PM, and there's going to be some pro amateur doubles there. That's the second one, so, uh, last time we had GSO, uh, take it over Pig and my Falco, and, um, that was an interesting one. Uh... Also no stream for that one, unfortunately. <laughs> but there are some matches still out there right here. Maybe. If only they weren't so difficult to transfer. Yeah. yeah those VODs, uh, for anyone wondering, uh, I randomly, I wasn't entering. I have, I just got a new phone and a lot of space on it. I'm like, hey, I could record these matches. This would be fun. So I actually have like six or seven matches from that event recorded. It's just the problem is my internet speed is... The upload is very, very bad So at my house, so I haven't been able to figure out a good way to get them there yet. I should look into converting the files to something smaller, maybe. But in the meantime, if anyone does want to see these, I could transfer them to you via, like, USB or something. Um, well, for this next one, though, we're going to have that $1 pro amateur teams, uh, which is one of the more interesting things that we're going to do. Uh, last time we had $5 normal teams. There were three teams for, for Melee, including Pig GSO, uh, RC Zeon, and um, do you remember the last team? It was... I don't. They, it was you guys who I didn't know. Um, yeah. I could yeah, look they it haven't up, been around but... them much before, so sorry if we got your tags, but I'll recognize you maybe. Um, so, that's uh, it's not great, but also RPI wasn't around. Albany wasn't around, so... Like, we don't really have our local students. We just tried it out. This time, I already know there's going to be at least one full RPI car going. Uh, really? Like, That's there's, awesome. There's going to be a second one. We're, uh, is there going to be a, a, a man cow or a Darwin in these cars? Uh, man cow is probably going to be riding with me. I haven't told him Ooh, yet. But... Let's go. Yo, you yeah. haven't told him yet? Yo, That's the newest announcement. <laughs> man cow confirmed going to our NLG driver. Bi -week. Our driver may rejoin this call very soon, I'm hoping. Um, so, yeah, we got a, we got a few people coming, and they're in the chat, too. So. Well, that's pretty good, dude. I always like to see RPI people come out to events, as I've made, made it very well known to them. Sure you have. So, yeah, so that's pretty sick. Um, what else? Uh... Anything else related to that? Well, okay, so in-depth pro amateur doubles. I think it could be really interesting, especially if we end up going with um, 
be uh, like if we end up doing this on a consistent kind of level, because uh, like PL used to do doubles uh, before like we did actual doubles. Um, How's the good? Yeah, I hope so. Are we oh. good? Can I hear you? Yo, let's go. Welcome I can't hear anybody else, guests. unfortunately. You can't hear us? That's crazy. Um, so Danny Man can't hear us, but we can hear him. Uh, let me just see something real quick. I don't remember this being an issue with any other guests, so... wonder if it's... Right. Uh, ask him if he unplugged something. Um, but anyway, I'll just keep describing it. So, Pro Amateur Doubles, we did like an informal way of handling this a while ago. Um, so, PL over a year ago. Uh, we did doubles for a little bit. You and, know, may maybe um, it's a problem with my headphones. <laughs> I'm gonna try something else. Yeah, he knew! He knew! Oh, <laughs> it's, oh. it's, it's possible, eh? We'll never know. <laughs> Test. Alright, Damon, stop interrupting me, though. Um, okay, so we did teams a while back. Uh, at the time, it was primarily just like Hungry Pigeon and me, uh, host or well, yeah, kind of hosting and doing our PL stuff. And well, we weren't gonna team with each other because that would be pretty boring. Like it's three teams, and like it's not gonna be that exciting if you just know who's gonna win. And if it were for money, then like it's even less exciting, and there's less reason for people to enter. So. We uh, we picked some people that would be interesting to team with, and like at the time, uh, he picked Downbow, and I picked you. Um, that that's me, not Nick. Yeah. So this is this was the first time Xanda and I had ever teamed at an event. Oh yeah. Uh, during free teams at PL. Yeah. So the the first team we ever did was F Smash to F Smash, and we went double Marth, and Billy was. Yeah, uh, just a young budding Marth at the time. Like, obviously not ranked or anything. Is this like, thing on? Uh, is Can it? you hear us? Oh. We hear you. Man, Danny Man was the... giving us the false hope. Yeah, that was definitely false hope. So yeah, I remember at the time, um, that was something that actually got me into doubles, because I remember my friends always want to play doubles and stuff, and like, no, I just want to focus on the singles craft. I don't want to get distracted with this other stuff. I just want to work on singles. This is too much. I remember showing up one night being like, all right, I'll just play some friendly. Or I showed up that night. And I'm just like, all right, I'll just play friendly. Yeah, I, don't I can't hear those. anybody. And um, Maybe yeah, Xanda. I remember Xanda being like, you know, like you want to team? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. He's like, yeah, we can do double mark. We'll do death snatch, death snatch. I'm like, okay. <laughs> this could be awesome. And we did that. And that was pretty fun. And the videos are out there. Yeah, the videos are out there, dude. Um, there's a particularly funny match. If you want to see, it's myself. So it's F Smash to F Smash versus Kevin and it was Kevin in burst mode, right? Oh yeah. Or King Ford, I don't remember burst team. mode. That there was some fun combos in that one. Yeah. But I, I love those videos. I, I go back and watch them like every now and then, and it's really funny because. A lot of times you'll just see me standing there just watching Adam and he's just like moving around really quickly like trying to 2v1 these guys and then like uh, there's this one time we do like a combo it's like neutral B into uh, Spike and I just do like the cutest little like little pop-up like yeah we did it! <laughs> like, it, it, it was so awesome dude I would, and I look like way younger than I am in that video that's also what makes it funny. Yeah uh, I remember that one uh, like you died going for something unfortunately. <laughs> I did something in the middle of the stage, and when you respawned, I, I was in the bottom of battlefield, bottom middle, and I just up through somebody like 100%, all the way up to you. You just hit neutral P, <laughs> and I just down air them. Yeah, it was it was sick, dude. I looked like I'm 14 in that video, even though I'm pretty sure I was like 17 at the time. <laughs> it was just yeah, I also love about it. But anyway, so this is something. It's not completely new, but we've never actually like formalized it. Yeah, so we did that for uh, like a month or two on and off, and uh, there are some teams that were a little bit more prevalent than others. Um, like one of the whole points of including it in the first place was let's try to interest more people in teams because teams is cool and well, wouldn't it be great if there were some uh, 
new teams that formed as a result. Turns out one did, at least, because we ended up winning our two weeklies that we did that, and then we weren't allowed to team again. Partially yeah. self-enforced. Yeah. And then eventually, cool. so I got to see my like five and stuff. So I tried some different people. Yeah. But there was some cool, like, I remember, like, Jay-Z and Emma Fire teaming early on. There was, like, I think it was, like, Air Fire, because he was Air at the time. And uh, we had the infamous Banjo-Kazooie. So it was Mike and, um, oh, my, what's his name? Quasi. He hasn't show Quasi, that's right. Yeah. So Mike and Quasi. Quasi is this Falcon player who used to show He had work, I think, during events, usually. So he'd show up late. And Mike would be like, yo, let's go, let's team. And, like, they would actually do, like, really well. So, like, that was pretty fun. And I remember uh, we, had a, we had Chef and Mike team up one time, and I called it a team Thanksgiving dinner. And then, like, Tony was, like, choking it and had to leave or something, so Mike kicked him off the team <laughs> and brought Quasi in, like, halfway through, and everybody's like, yo, you can't do this. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was pretty funny. Mike had a Not very official. abandoning his teammates in general, being like, oh, Quasi's here, so... That's, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna hey, can you hear me? I we can. hear you. What about the other <laughs> yeah. one? Yeah! Alright, let's oh. go. Dandy Man's in there. Too. Oh, I did it. <laughs> well, we, uh, we finally got our special guest after 15 minutes. He, like, he was talking to us just fine before the show. <laughs> yeah, literally, like, you guys probably saw it. We were just talking about the holidays and stuff, but now he's back, so we're good. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, what happened was, um... I don't know what happened on my phone because that's where I was on Discord and it just disconnected and it just wouldn't reconnect. And so when I went onto my computer to open Discord, I completely forgot that about a half hour ago I muted everything. Oh. <laughs> ah, excellent. So, uh, yeah, then I realized wait a minute, I just muted everything. And then I unmuted and here we are. Cool. Yeah. You did it. Um, well, we're talking about pro amateur doubles, and we we're just reminiscing about the uh, the old days. Those were cool too, because like if I remember, we were getting like decent entrance. Like the first one, I want to say we had like roughly sixteen, maybe. Like they were getting uh, getting good numbers. Um, at the time, we were alternating with Smash Four as well. Like one would have doubles, the other would not have doubles. Um, so we did something like one would be more featured on stream on Thursdays because both Melee and Smash 4 were on Thursdays together. Uh, and FCC was also there. So Smash 4 only got like two setups and FCC only got like two setups. So they eventually split the days. Um, but yeah, that was we about do a year and a half ago, right? Basis. Um, yeah, this was a long like time that. ago now. Yeah, that's uh, my best guess. Like a year and a half, at least, or at most. Um, well, we're gonna do that again, and uh, at NLG, I think that it'd be cool if we could get some of the better players to kind of like coach some not as good players through teams again, and hopefully we can try to see some uh, new teams pop up. Cause like it's not really as exciting if like you you already know that someone's gonna win um so like for example uh gso and pig uh like <laughs> probably a favorite um and although uh billy and i didn't used to be such a favorite we've gradually gotten a lot better at it and like we've finally taken more sets and that kind of stuff you know like huge performances or anything but um it's been, it's been really cool working up to that. The only thing, though, is if I were to team with someone again like that, they would have to put in significant amounts of work. Like, they would have to be seriously devoted to improving and all that stuff. And, like, I made this Billy guy practice a bunch of team stuff with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't believe it now, but I, I did used to practice. It was cool. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, definitely these old, not the Billy I know. Yeah, these old melee brackets are sick, dude. Like, laser to F-smash, that's when me and uh, Spiffykin's team. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was kind of zoning out looking at these. These are sweet. He says high maintenance. It's high Man, maintenance. Man, how low go are those? Only if you can't handle it. Like, I only I only go in to, to win it. If I want to uh, do that kind of stuff. Also, I guess we'll... Is that the event that's March 4th, by the way? Without opening it up? Because that's the same weekend as Genericon, unfortunately. Super Upstate Battle Series. Yeah, um, yeah, I saw that. I was considering going out, but it's still a little bit off, so I haven't really made my mind up yet. We'll see. I would like to go to a Rochester event sometime. Yeah. Uh, well, cool. Thanks for the offer and all that. Uh, feel free to post it on our Facebook uh, if you haven't yet. But unfortunately, it is the same weekend as Genericon, which is a convention at RPI. And, um, well, Smash Club does some stuff there, even though it's like a free tournament. <coughs> and, uh, like, most of the RPI kids are not going to be traveling, for example. Yeah. Rare footage of RPI. No, let me chill with that. But like, yeah, like it's it's possible. I'll definitely look into it. I saw that already once. I'm thinking about going through. I just like I said, like that's kind of it's relatively far out for me still. It's like what March, so that's like a month and a half. Future events. Yeah, nice. definitely. Um. So yeah, bi-weekly. Who do you think is uh? Who do you, what do you think the the runner the the top runner teams are gonna be like? For pro am. Yeah. I think some good teams are going to be. No one's well, really come out and said, like, I want a team with this guy quite yet. What do you think, Dandy? Remind me, who's on the, um, the, uh, PR honorable plus mentions? Gem? Well, the honorable mention. Honorable mention yeah. is Lightning, Brolita, Spike. So they are included ah. with the PR in terms of, like, I can't team with Brolita as, like, I would love to, but, well. That's a little unfair. Um, gotcha, yeah. Plus, he's not even going to be able to make it this time. Um, well, so. I'd say that depends on if uh, Spike can make it out to more events. Yeah. Uh, because... I'm probably going to message him. Just check to see if his Sundays are better. Well, I mean, seeing Spike team with like some RPI people would be pretty cool. Like, yo, yeah. Spike Kevin? Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd, be, that'd good, be pretty good, man. There's a good handful of uh, unranked talent that uh, could be like top of the top picking, you could say, for PR players. Like, oh, yeah, if like... I wanted to, to pick somebody, I've got a few foxes to choose from, actually. I'm sure someone like uh, Sand might be wanting to team with like Two Saint for. Uh, oh future, yeah, like you Albany uh, represent kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know. Yes, yeah, so they're they're going. Well, Sand is going to be doing PM dubs. I'm pretty sure, as I found out today. So, oh yeah, uh, at we'll least he won't. Sand won't be able to do both. But he he's a he be an interesting call for a pro M because like he's pretty good and stuff. It's just that like he became a little less active later on. So yep. Yeah. Speaking of the uh, devil, he is uh, he's here in chat. Yeah. Oh, how did I know? Yo, the prescience, dude. Um, yeah, they're they're both pro amateur. Um, the okay, right, Kevin KFJ, or Emperor Lord KFJ at this point. Uh, yeah, so he's Emperor Lord. He's Emperor Lord. Lord. Oh, he changed it. He and won another it. one, dude. He keeps winning. <laughs> <laughs> he won the Arcadian, so now he's Emperor Lord King Frontier. I mean, all he really has to be is Ember Lord, or. KFJ. Dude, he's, he's powerful for sure. Well, he became the king after he won the amateur bracket at Redfish. <laughs> and then he, he became Lord King Fraud Jimmy after he won Buster bracket at Super Nose. <laughs> so once he won the Arcadian, he became Emperor Lord King Fraud Jimmy. Yeah, that's Kevin. Oh, I don't know how much more powerful we're going to get. <laughs> oh, I misheard that the entire time. I thought you were saying Ember and not Emperor. Yep. No, and I was like, like, I'm kind of saying it quick. My, that's my bad, dude. That's all right. It's Emperor. Yeah, the Emperor Lord. Emperor. Yeah. So um, he could be Supreme Emperor Lord. If he keeps, 
That's the next one, I guess. Yeah, and then after that, it could be like the almighty supreme ultimate Emperor supreme. <laughs> yeah, let's just hope he just stops winning these amateur bracket events. <laughs> like, that's what I want to see. Yeah, he's got to make pro bracket, which he has a lot more often. But, hmm. you know. <laughs> but yeah, Kevin is definitely a wild card, so he could be cool to team with. Um, I don't have anyone in mind yet. The only person I was thinking maybe. Well, I don't have anyone confirmed. Uh, the person I have in mind is Chef, perhaps, my boy Tony. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to be around. Uh, yeah, well, he we goes to school in the area. Or floaties to choose hmm. from. Yeah, so he goes to school in the area, and he does play Peach. Like He's been to like a bunch of stuff over the years. It's just that he's never showed consistent interest in showing up a lot, but I'll see if I can get him to uh, come out to this one, and maybe we'll do like Chic Peach or, um, I don't know, maybe I'll just do Mark Peach, like Honey Mooners type team. I'm not sure yet. So hold on. Is Pro-Am only going to be happening at the bi weekly? <laughs> For now. For now, yeah. Okay. It's like uh, something, it's just something new to consider. Yeah. Yeah, it's doubles kinda... at PL will not resume until at least holiday hours end, which tentatively may be March. Wow, that's a long holiday. Well, that's because a lot of people get money for the holidays, and they're like, I want to spend <laughs> yeah. my money. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah just kind of hold on to it. Maybe till after the Switch launches or something. <laughs> that kind of sounds about right, actually, as far yeah, as timing it's... goes. So, yeah, if people want to be getting out of there before midnight, we unfortunately can't be doing dubs right now. So Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, besides, the, uh, the Teams League uh, last fall was bi-weekly anyway, so this works out. Yeah. Uh, in fact, we may even be able to do something similar like that again if it turned into, like, a pro amateur Teams League. Ooh, speculation. Also, so it's, it's like a segue. Oh, wow. We're, we're done, so we're done talking about pro am, dude? I wasn't. Yeah. Uh, but we'll, we're going to save that segue for later. Um, okay. So, another Fox is Jay-Z. If Jay-Z comes yes. back, he has the potential to team with somebody good. And step yeah. Up. Um, well, actually, so for Pro Am, is it really going to be like eleven teams or something of Pro with an amateur? <laughs> no, not I necessarily. Actually, there. no. There's there's also other things that we could do. Like, uh, for example, or not that we could do, but think about it like this. So, um, let's say you're a dedicated team and you're neither of you are ranked. Well, now. Uh, now that all the other teams are broken up, like, of the top PR players, it would be interesting to see what they can do. So a team maybe, like, an RC Zion type team. Who they, they team for a few events now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, maybe you'll start to see them do better because they won't just be losing to, like, like a Bill Zanda team or, you know, like, GSO Pig. Like <laughs> they, so, like, even though, like, may, maybe, like, their individual skill is still lower, like, the team synergy might pull through and create interesting results. Yeah, a lot of stuff can happen. That makes sense. Um, so another another thing that is worth bringing up too, though, is without like the double PR teams being out there, we could actually see some uh, some good representation from like uh, like even in the chat, uh, Pizza and Danny Man, uh, pretty consistent team. Yeah, uh, this could be your opportunity to step up. Also, teams like RC and Zeon, if they do end up putting in that work. Yeah, I uh, I definitely like to crush some skulls. For sure. Figuratively. <laughs> yeah, if RC and Zeon want to do well, they would have to stick with one team, probably Puff Falco. And uh, you could see results growing from there. I don't know how well he would do, but yeah. if you're picking other characters like Sheik or, you know, Fox. Oh, good. Yeah, are there any other, like, good... Well, the thing with Jay-Z, that'd be cool. Like, he might team up with, like, Emblem Fire. Maybe we can get him to come back out to events. That could be sick. Or, like, I know Jay-Z Codeman have teamed up at least, like, a handful of times at different yeah. stuff. that'd be a cool team to see return as well. Yeah, or even, like, Jay-Z and, um... And, like, GSO. I wouldn't rule that out completely. Oh. I think that could be interesting. Actually, GSO Kevin. Yo, GSO Kevin <laughs> would be kind of sick. All these double fox teams, but still, it could be cool. They talked about teaming before, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, dude. I would say GSL Lightning, because I thought that could have been a cool spot, but Lightning is HM, so yeah. they can't team up. Unfortunately, it is that cutoff where like it is too good. It's a little too busted. Um, but yeah, I don't know who I would want to team with yet. I'll probably have like fake additions or something at RPI Smash Club. Yeah, is the first uh, RPS Smash meeting this Friday, by the way? Yes. Oh, okay. That'll be cool. I'll try yeah, it. Sure. Good out of oh. players would also count as pro, by the way. Okay. Well, you know, actually, that uh, reminds me of one thing. So, the circuit's supposed to be starting this week, right? Wow. I didn't even lead into that. Okay. Uh oh. Well, spoilers, Whoops. guy. The ladder is going to be circuit. Yes, the ladder is transformed. Alright, so, Danny Man joining us because we're talking about the ladder. Uh, yes. And it turns out the ladder, it's not going to be exactly like a ladder. Uh, so, the ladder is going to be a circuit. And how that works is uh, it's similar to the Teams League from last time. And uh, turns out that you're going to earn points by placing. And that, that starts with brackets starting this Thursday. I'm going to post some uh, announcement stuff tonight as soon as this podcast is over. And um, you don't have to like sign up for it or anything, but go to events, you'll get points. And we're going to do some cool stuff with points. Uh, it's surprises! Not, yeah, it's not <sighs> totally confirmed yet. Uh, we're thinking about cool things that we can do when people earn enough points. Uh, but... We, we could do something like a little invitational again. We wouldn't be able to do a smash in Turkey, per se, because, uh, like, Thanksgiving's too many months away, and we're not going to have that long of a circuit. Um, but yeah, the ladder is going to become a circuit. An activity is going to be valued pretty significantly, because uh, you will get one point just for showing up and entering the bracket, that is. Yep. So... That's the, the quick rundown, how it's going to work. Um, depending on what we want to do with teams, we may add teams to that. Um, like, if people really want, like, a pro amateur team circuit, and they're willing to go to NLG for that, I think that's totally awesome. I would do that. I would love to have a consistent teammate again for, for that kind of stuff. <laughs> no, this just saying Bill's not Zen is consistent too. <laughs> that's like, wait, what? No. And then you added that kind of stuff. But sorry, that was just like a little red flag. Yeah. Well, I mean, it used to be, you used to be that, that level of consistent teammate. And then you ended up being general consistent teammate, except for those RSMs and those weeklies that you, you're like, I can't make it. So then I had a team with sorry. Spike and like Man Cow once. Oh, you had to team with Mancow? I'm yeah, sure you enjoyed that. I'm sure Mancow enjoyed that. I'm sure if I go back and watch the VODs, my it dude's going to be like, he's going to be so happy. <laughs> well, so looks like um, Salt's so kind of wondering when the circuit would encompass. Is it really, it's just the spring pretty much, or like now till the end of the yeah. semester. Um, so we're, we're thinking about uh, end of April is like the latest that I would expect anything to go. So that gives us 15 weeklies and either seven or eight bi-weeklies. I didn't check. Um, and then we'll see how many other events happen, like RSM, the RPI monthly, uh, that's gonna happen. Um, well, there are gonna be like three of those. Um, there may or may not be um, another other events around there um but if they're local they may be good for the uh the circuit uh however if they're like a big rpi event that like could possibly happen that people know about anyway um well that's probably not going to count towards the circuit but we're going to uh we're going to work some stuff out because like what if we get some cool people there what if uh, other people in upstate show up? Well, they're not going to get circuit points. So we might finish before that event. Okay, yeah. 
I don't have any big announcements for that yet, but stay tuned. Maybe we'll even save the exclusive announcement for like another podcast. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll at least keep you guys into watching again. Oh. Sick, hey, they need a reason, right? Oh, no, they have enough reasons. Oh. Yeah, they come here for the content. Oh, yeah, sure. And today we bring great content, including Circuit Reveal. And circuit hey, leaks. I mean... So do you want to give some big. more? You want to give some more details to people who are interested? Like, um, uh, what kind of details? Like, like, like the like the point system. Could you guys explain that a little? Yeah, bit? yeah, that's a good one. Okay, well, uh, so you get more points the farther you go in bracket. That's the easy way to describe it. Uh, later today, I'm gonna I'm gonna put out the whole uh, rule stuff. So without like listing off how much everything is worth, um, that's that's what it is. Like, let's say you win an event, you're gonna get like, let's say six to ten points, depending on the size of the event. Um, and like second place, they get one less point than that. Um, so, the more rounds you win, the more points you're gonna get, for the most part. Uh, that way, we don't have any situation that is like, oh well, this guy has a, a million points, so. We're never gonna catch up to him. Like first, first can't be uh, weighted too heavily, even though it's certainly valuable. Um, there is no difference in worth outside of the bracket size. So, for example, uh, RSM may end up being the most worth points-wise because it has the most players. But like, let's say we have a monster weekly. That one's going to be worth a lot. Interesting. Yeah, oh, so yeah. Like, even the bigger events, they won't have any bonus value on them right now, from what I understand. And there's not really going to be too many bigger melee events this season, I don't think, locally, that is. It is not exactly one point per win. Uh, you will see the exact numbers when I announce it after the podcast. Um, so. Yeah. I'm not gonna it's go more about the placing. That. Yeah. So also, yeah, it's about the placing and like uh, keep in mind. Well, how much do you want to go into the point system? I think we might as well do. I mean, I think I could sum it up in it's placing relative to bracket size. Yeah. Like how many people enter compared to how well you actually do. So if you get first at an eight-man tournament, it's going to be worth less than first at a thirty-two-man. Yeah, so uh, another thing to keep in mind is everybody who enters, you might have already mentioned this, so my bad, but everyone who enters one of these gets at least one point. Yeah. So you show up to an event, like, that's cool, you get participation stuff, and then depending on, like, exactly how the bracket works out, there may not be a difference between losers round one or two, but by three, you'll definitely be getting more points. Yeah. That makes sense. So yeah. uh, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to explain the amazing thing that's left over. Uh, and two, I'm going to link the, the rules as they're currently typed in a moment. Uh, but first of all, this point system, uh, like, okay, so the circuit is replacing the ladder, sure. But you know what? We're actually keeping challenge matches. And you'll be able to wager mm -hmm. a few of your points on uh, challenge matches. So uh, this is a zero-sum system, so... Like, you can't game the system, and challenge matches work relatively the same way. Uh, similarly, if you want your challenge match, like, on stream and all that, we can handle it. Just, you know, let me know. Um, we'll work on the, uh, the Facebook group for this again. Um, so, uh, like, challenges, optional best of fives. Uh, some people love the challenges. Think of it like a money match. You wager... Uh, you wager, say, up to three points is the, the current tentative number. And, uh, okay, well, if you don't have three points, you can't wager three points, so you better go to a weekly and earn some points. And if you want to get more points, then do some challenge matches. There are a few limitations, like I said, like the, the old challenge match limitations. But I'm going to link the, the stuff right now. Yeah. For anyone wondering about points per games, like unfortunately it is like set wins and really really as Dandy said, it's placings that matter in this system. So you could look at it as 
that's like kind of what we value here. Like, let's say you get like a really big upset. This doesn't exactly compensate you for that. But um, yeah, and also like the reason we can't really give points for games. Well, we we could, but like I don't know. It's the thing is, if you get fifth and you're winning one two every time, or two one, it doesn't mean you should get like more or less than someone who's getting there and they're scraping by barely. If that kind of makes sense, or like if someone gets there through winners. Then and they get fifth the same as you who made a losers run like you guys still both get the same amount of points, and also if we we're giving more points per game one that would be like a nightmare to go through and look at like everybody and try to keep track of that. So that's kind of why place things are the emphasis I think. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hey, what are your thoughts on that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was actually um, just making a little response uh, kind of comparing well that compared challenge matches to uh, something like the duelist kingdom for those who've been watching say oh, you're uh, talking about Smash like the Yu-Gi-Oh anime yeah kind of thing. people who like watching uh, Smashers who play the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, yeah you can kind of think online. like that yeah you gotta, you gotta play Pegasus aka Adam you <laughs> 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 Yeah, dude, he's got the millennial eye. He'll read everything you do. Dude, it's like, how does Adam always know? The trick is actually that he's not reading, he's just reacting. <laughs> but, <laughs> but no no one knows that. It's like, how is he in my head? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so you could kind of think of it like that. Like the thing is it's not it's not like everybody's gonna start with two star chips or anything. Yeah. But everybody starts you're gonna everybody starts at zero and you'll get more points for showing up to events. But if you like the challenge system, you can keep it interesting also by using your points and betting them a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we're not allowing people to have negative points, by the way. Um, yeah. Also, someone asking in the chat, uh, what happens if like one person goes 1-2 and, and another person goes 0-2? That is why at the first two rounds of losers, you actually won't see a points difference. Um, yeah. In the bracket, like we're going to link more. Yeah, yeah, we're going to link more info on this. Are but basically, did. oh, you, you already linked it in the chat? Yeah. God, I missed that part, my bad. Yeah, so as you can see in like the points awarded per bracket thing, like uh, depending on the size, you get more. So like at a 32 man bracket, let's say, uh, we'll just pretend it's that. Um, like you'll get two points for getting 17th, which means you've gotten to losers round three, right? Something no, like losers, round, losers round two. Because, but then like, let's say um, it was a, a 31 man bracket well, you'd have to get to 13th because that means you have to get through two rounds of losers. So, yeah, it's, it, it, it kind of makes sense once you're looking at a bracket. Yeah, it kind of eliminates part of that variance that uh, Solix was asking about. Like, for the most part, people who are already seated that highly um, are going to be pretty okay and won't bust her out on a frequent basis. But if they do go 0-2, they'll still be getting only one point, even yeah. if they're technically outplacing somebody. Yeah, exactly. So, for the most part, it'll work out kind of like even the ladder system last semester. There will be weird exceptions that happen, but over time, just with all of the weeklies and bi-weeklies and uh, larger regional events, it'll work out so that if there's like one or two weird tournaments, it won't really affect anything major. Yeah, something else I'm wondering now that I hadn't really thought of before. So, um, well, maybe this won't come into play, but think of it like this. Like, let's say there's an event like the final uh, Pepper Smash, and it has Melee at it, and you get out of pools. Yeah, so, like, the final Pepper Smash. Like, that's going to be the finale event, I'm guessing, right? That's the plan. It's pretty predictable. Yeah. yeah, so the final big RPI event. Like, maybe if you get out of pools... Like then you'll be getting more points than someone in pools, but you probably will get only one if you don't get out of pools, that kind of thing. Yeah, that sounds right. We'll figure something out for pools tournaments. Depending on when the event, uh, or rather, depending on when the circuit officially ends, then we'll, we'll know whether we're going to include tournaments like that or not. Uh, but for now, we're definitely including monthlies, weeklies, bi-weeklies, because those are guaranteed local and primarily local entrance. Like, it's not a big deal if someone random shows up at a monthly and just happens to win. 
Hey, man, I kind of want these. I'm, I'm going to try to push for these bi-weeklies to get some out of region people. Yeah. Uh, it's tough right now because they're also the same. Yeah, got to uh, tell Mana to move his uh, bi-weeklies, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's quite how it's going. Uh, I think well, it's uh, it okay like... to move them. <laughs> so it looks like the people in chat have uh, a couple of questions having to do with general point distribution and how to... Uh, like how challenge points work, um, like um, wait, you see that? So challenge points, what is it? Um, you wager three of your points up against up. somebody. Uh, yeah. So in previous ladders, you can challenge people above you, and that remains the same, except now both of you are putting up one to three points in this challenge match. So if you win the challenge match you get as many points as both people wagered, and the loser loses those wagered points. Mm. So if you face somebody who has like 10 more points than you, you can't really get above them in one set. Yeah. Okay. And also, like, you can only challenge them once per week. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. And, um... So, and I guess, is the general point distribution of, uh, I guess, placings final? Just because apparently... It's not necessarily final, but I don't see it changing. Okay. Alright. Because, um, I guess, um, like Pizza brings up a pretty good point, where if, uh, like, let's say several weeklies in a row are about the same size, like then... Someone who wins, uh, who gets first twice and third once, uh, gets the same as somebody who got second twice and first once. Should it that's such a remain minimal, that way? That's such a minimal difference, honestly. Yeah. So really, it, it just comes out to totally winning matter. over. Okay, so it's more about really the grand scheme, not like a couple of weeks sort of slice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're sense. looking at doing this through April. But uh, that actually does bring me to a question I had. That uh, now that since we're still on the circuit, uh, you Albany doesn't start until the twenty third. So oh, a lot okay. of yeah, so a lot of people aren't getting back until like next that. week anyway, and that's already two events uh, that will have happened towards the circuit. Well. Um, is that that or should we Thursday. wait? It's like kind of not that big of a deal because there's so many other events. Um, yeah. But on the other hand, like mm, it's a possible good reason to delay it. The only problem is I thought it already started. I just, I don't go. Yeah, there, so. no, it's yeah. Most yeah. UA people will not be back till next week. I also oh. found out recently. Sienna is back in session. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, why is Albany the last one this time? No idea. Well, uh, they should, for the most part, still be back on Sunday, though, for the bi-weekly. Yeah, that's pretty true. Hopefully so that works out. only missing out. one weekly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as long as they can make it to Sunday, it really won't be yeah. too bad. Even there two is a killer. Like we're gonna come, we're gonna come with spring breaks and stuff too. Like, what if there are different break weeks? Okay, well, do I make these weeklies not count because RPI is in here? No, not necessarily. Um, yeah, make, that's like let's say for some reason something happens, like U Albany has two spring breaks. Wow, like you guys are gone twice. <laughs> now, th as an example. Uh, let's say there's a week off in February and there's a week off in March, just because I don't know, it, it would happen potentially. I'm not gonna just say that those ones don't count. So yeah, but this is the start. Yeah, I think there's a difference between starting it when everybody's prepared and like being in the middle where things will happen on both sides, kind of. Yeah, like once once we're kind of in. in once we're in the season, I think suspending the season temporarily is kind of goofy, but like, 
you know, maybe we can maybe consider pushing back the start, I'm going to say. Yeah. And also because... Um, Sunday. If it got pushed back at all. Yeah, I think if it just started this Sunday, that makes sense. It'd be fine. Yeah, well, like it was still good thing we now know. Albany. Yeah. And uh, also... Um, yeah... Also, because of uh, the way breaks work, there will be a significant shortage of players during certain times. Yeah, so for the most part. Much. Yeah, so like maybe if RPI has off, instead of having like a, a 20 something man local, it'll be up maybe 16 max or not. And that just changes point distribution. Yeah, so I don't see a major issue. Yeah, it should work all right. Yeah, having what? so many uh, also benefits us in that there are so many that it doesn't really matter if you miss a couple. Yeah. But um, do you still think that just starting on Sunday uh, would work out all right? Yeah. Just we'll uh, start to on catch Sunday. as many people as possible? Cool. All right. Perfect. Yeah, so now some UA kids better show up or we're just kind of wasting. <laughs> I mean, Matt wants to know if UA is there. Like, oh, sorry, guys. If they're not there, then it's their, their loss. Yeah. Well, all right. Um, like, we'll have plenty of uh, that stuff. Who's in charge of updating circuit stuff for challenge matches? Uh, that's going to be at least me and Dandy Man. Hey. Yeah. And um, it helps that just because of the way that... Um, the circuit works, it's a lot easier to just record that someone has X amount of points. Um, yeah. The challenge system, yeah, that'll kind of be similar to how I recorded ladder stuff last semester. But, um... Yeah, it's just less work. It's just right. faster. Can we, yeah. can we make maybe a form uh, when people do, like, a match? So, like, they submit some sort of Google form, like, oh, I, I played this person at this day and time, whatever. And then, would that make it easier for you, Dandy? Uh, that'd be really easy. But, like, it's still already easier than just from before. Gotcha. Yeah. Literally so. all we have to do is go to the spreadsheet, enter date, challenger, opponent, winner, score, points, and then edit. So, points. yeah. And actually, the, the Unless... points are going to be updated automatically, so we don't even need to do that. Unless, yeah. so unless you want to manually points. do it. Unless, if you want to so manually like... and subtract a point from each player. I'm fine with that. I don't have to edit it. Hmm. Well, really, as long as there aren't like 40 challenge matches a week, it's already way easier. Yeah. Gotcha. So, Dude, this will be the good. season of challenges. You're in there. Well, with points on the line, um, things could get interesting. Um, I'm sure some people are going to come up with little goals aside from any rewards that we're going to announce in the future. Uh, like, I want to hit 50 points. That's not going to be easy uh, because, like, let's say we're going to have less than 25 events, potentially. Okay, well, if you attended everything and, unfortunately, you go 0-2, you're going to get 25 points. Um, well, we could also use the point system in a few other ways. Like, since it's also an easy way to tell how active some people are, we can say there's an easy, like, 30 point minimum to be eligible for the PR potentially like you have to show up to at least that many events okay and um we don't really have anything set in stone as far as rewards go but no uh, yeah like at all no we're working on some stuff but um I mean I need some approval first Gotcha. Any? Is it worth even speculating about it, or? Uh, uh, feel free to come up with suggestions and all that, but, um, like. Yeah, we can't really even on. hint at anything yet. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, at previous ladders, we've had prize money. Uh, for the finale, like smashing turkey, the first one. Makes sense. Um, so, like, we'll have, we'll have something at least like that, I'm sure. 
Okay. So that's kind of predictable. Seems good. Um, does any of you guys have questions about the ladder? And by the ladder, I mean the circuit. Yeah, we could pretty much just rename the Facebook group to the circuit instead of the ladder. <laughs> ladder it turns out uh, that's what I'm going to do as part of the, uh, the announcement. Oh, well, all right. Perfect. Yeah. You could rename it right now if you wanted to, but I got to type up <laughs> the, the announcement post. All right, yeah, let's just wait till the announcement. You know, for those who aren't yeah, currently I'll do it when chat. I post it. Well, uh, in the meantime, should we go over, say, general events in Melee? Broad sense? Melee events in the next few weeks? Well, oh, yeah, you know. Well, there's Genesis, if you mean, like, big tournaments. Yes. <laughs> like that. Yeah, no, that one could be pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a backup topic for today. If we're oh, okay. going through this stuff quickly. But if people wanna ask more about the circuit, then feel free to ask. Yeah, I personally yeah. prefer local and like regional kind of stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. I'd be down to just, you know, chat with chat and explain stuff. Yeah, we're at uh, like fifteen circuit. minutes already as well. Point system will not strictly be used for seating. Right. Um, to be honest, oh, not like bad. we'll definitely keep. We will keep it in mind, though. Uh, that is interesting. Like, maybe even for like, I think it would be more important for like the mid to lower level players. Like, oh, how many points does this guy have? How many <laughs> events is he attending? Like, yeah, it'll maybe help he us. should be seated higher. It'll help us know as people that seed whether or not you deserve a higher seating at a lower level. And like, oh, this guy is kind of upcoming because, uh, like, he's gotten three points at this this weekly, and he got four points <laughs> at this one. That's Pretty good sometimes. <laughs> and uh, uh, the only worry being pay to win. Well, I mean you're entering brackets, so like the only way it could be pay to win is oh I like got O2'd and I got my one point. Even though the winner got like eight points. Three. Yeah, so you aren't going to earn many points just by showing up every week. Like, um, if you show up to half as many weeklies as. Like, okay, so imagine a situation with GSO. This is what we're going to have to deal with later in the year. Um, GSO is not going to attend weeklies. Alright, well, that's unfortunate, but. He's going to be able to attend some bi-weeklies and some monthlies, and we'll know for sure how well he does at those, and like he'll be seated appropriately and all that. Um, and since those are likely to be a little bit bigger, he may earn more points, and he has the potential to earn more points. But like, let's say someone like uh, Mancow, uh, who like if he performed at roughly the the same level that he did last season then they may end up with a, a similar amount of points or maybe even Mancow would have more points than GSO just because he's gone to double the events at least that's that's likely and that's something that we're just gonna have to accept uh, that's only gonna affect like the absolute top level in terms of like that but if you're going to be winning events you're still going to be earning more points overall yeah i mean yeah. make no mistake like this is this system does reward activity a lot yeah. like that was one of the first things so uh, either we, we we said like we knew it but someone mentioned that in the chat right away like oh is this it? like yes you will get points for showing up to stuff it's still going to be i feel that the better players should probably be roughly where they belong Except in yeah. cases like GSO, where it's probably not going to... He's not going to be showing up to like as much stuff as me or Mancow or Adam. Like it's, That's just a fact. Like, yeah. So perhaps someone like him might be example. lower, but he's going to have to be winning. Like if, he want, if this point system is important to him, which I imagine it won't be quite as important since he isn't as active at the smaller stuff, like he'll just have to go really try hard and win everything. Or he'll have to challenge Toussaint at like clubs oh, yeah. and things like that. And try to get more points. 
because that's the thing like gso since he won't be at like number two or whatever he could even challenge someone like me and if i want to be like me I'd i could be, okay be like not that. son i want okay to be like nah you're not getting any me. of my points but like i i would probably accept that i'd be like all right rob you can try to come get them but yeah, find you're yourself gonna lose your points now yeah, now you're gonna be even even deeper in the hole. Like that's like that's called a gambling addiction, dude. <laughs> so yeah, Yo, really, what? if you what's can't that? attend events as much, uh, challenge people. Yeah. Yes. Go that, for it. That is why it's there. It gives you more to do outside of just events. Yeah, yeah, and I believe the rule right now is you cannot challenge anyone below you. So you can't just like farm points on baddies. Ah, uh, okay, right. yeah. I can't like. I can't like show up with some disguise on or something like, hey kid, like, remember, remember this game? <laughs> like, you to... Yeah, I'm new to this region and heard about I'll... some sort of uh, point circuit. Just... <laughs> yeah, the only problem with that is if you had such an alias and like that worked <laughs> out, you'd have to earn points in the first place to even be able to challenge. I'd have to make a Smurf yeah. account. Yeah, you'd have you'd have to have such a good disguise that we wouldn't recognize you at some weekly. And then you go to the weekly. You maybe do okay. And I'm talking about like top six, maybe. Like you don't want to bring too much attention to yourself for the weekly. That way, you have the ability to go to the, like, go into the challenges. And then the problem is, if you're doing well in these brackets, like you might just find yourself playing against yourself. So like, <laughs> that, that, could, that could be bad news. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, Billy didn't show up again this week, but. This yeah. new chic player is showing a little bit of promise. <laughs> yeah. And their name is actually New Chic Player. Imagine <laughs> that. Hidden boss. <laughs> Billy Mysteri versus Mysteri New Chic Player. Mysteri mysterious challenger. That'd Wouldn't that be a concept challenge. match? The mysterious challenger versus Bills? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my Marth would beat the crap out of my chic, but I'm not sure. <laughs> that'd, that'd be pretty funny. So, I guess in short, um, challenge people. Go to a couple of tournaments, or well, I mean, go to a decent amount. Go to as many as you can. And go to yeah, as many as you want to. And really, the, the whole the points distribution, or that kind of concern with points distribution, should only really affect a pretty small portion of the players in the region. Like you won't just suddenly get like, unless I do well. If I go O2 at everything, you won't just see me get up there in the ranks. Yeah. Like, Just if you went to everything and got, like, 20 points, then, like, GSO only went to, like, two things and he won two tournaments, you actually have more points than GSO, most likely. Yeah. But it's still, um... It's like you pretty much just have to go to, like, five events and do, like, top three to beat somebody in the circuit who's gone to every single thing. Yeah, that's some kind of wonder so many how, that how this is going to pan out. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Yeah. We're interested in seeing how it works out, at the very least. And, well, if it doesn't go that well, we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, but, on the other hand, there's plenty of potential for how well it can go. If people want to use the system, then... It's there for people to use. Uh, like, if you want to get more out of playing Melee locally, this is the great way to do it. Yeah. Uh, in really? the past, we've had a few people that have succeeded, uh, taken a lot of advantage of what the ladder can do for them. Uh, similarly, the circuit can give people more drive to improve themselves. I used to use the ladder back in the day. It was cool. Yeah. Then it got boring, but it worked for me for a while. So that was nice. I mean, well, uh, that's why hopefully a circuit becomes a welcome change of pace. Yeah, I think it sounds really cool to me, uh, to be honest. Like, at first, so Adam's like, hey, Billy, I really want to talk to you about something. I'm like, all right, this is this better be something cool. And he's like, can you get on Discord or whatever? I'm like, all right. So I, I get on, I get home, I talk to him. Sound like that. No, that's not what he actually sounded like. He just said it in his classic Adam voice. But he says, like, oh, so I'm like, wow, this must be something important. So he's like, oh, so for podcast topics, he's like, new circuit. I'm like, Adam, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, please stop. <laughs> that was my first reaction. But 
uh, after talking about this more with you guys and stuff, answering questions, I, I do think it sounds pretty cool. Good. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Yeah. Yeah, Billy thinks it it's pretty, pretty good. Cool. I, I think it, it sounds pretty cool. And, like, I will... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna like play significantly differently now. There's points on the line, but like I, I do kind of want to see how many points I can farm up on my smirks. The thing is, you don't even know what's coming. I mean, yeah. you kind of have ideas, but ooh, if we get if we get some stuff to work out, it could be good for once. That yeah, could be really cool. Um. So, uh, as for like a finale to the circuit, uh, kind of. Uh, okay, so. Imagine something similar to Smash and Turkey uh, originally, where we had the top X players invited. Um, I would think that we would still do a similar invitational, uh, except it may be like top eight go into a bracket, and they're seated based on the points. Like that's the only last way that you can kind of attach any value to the points, um, and like. There are a few things that could come as a result of that. Like that one can be worth like bonus points, I guess, if we want to reward uh, like huge consistency and that kind of stuff. Uh, but like invitational, free to enter, uh, prizes, that's nice. Um, the the size. Dude, now I'm scared. We, we can't seed it by points though. Yeah, not. Not totally. Because GSO will get like seven seed or something. I'm gonna be like <laughs> two seed. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> like, what is this crap? Like, I'd be mad. That'd be the uh, the optimal the way to unintentionally collude. Yeah, just get super low points to take out someone good. Nah, no, please don't do that, guys. <laughs> That's, uh, That's okay. That does not work in your favor. Your goal is typically to get the highest seed you can. That way, you start by playing bad players. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens, dude. We'll see. Yeah. Um, but I mean, so I'm sure we'll we'll try to do something like that again. Um, I don't know what the cutoff would be. I suspect. But I'm leaning towards well, something like 8 or 12. Wait, uh, like, are you guys uh, enough out? people. Am I cutting out? At all. More people. Testing. Oh, I can hear Billy. Competition. And um, I don't think that, you know, just because the circuit is more about actually entering the tournaments in general, I don't think it'll really change that much. Well, we missed a little bit of what you said because it cut out. Oh, we get, I think I think we get the idea, though. Okay. I, I got the idea out of it. Okay. But Dandy, you are kind of cutting out a little bit. I don't know if the dialogue right. is striking me back. It was just that moment. Uh, I'll just change my sensitivity. Hopefully, you're probably that works. fine. It was just that moment. Yeah, yeah, I actually think you're good to go. But anyway, so now we we discuss why it's probably not pay to win. Uh, yeah. Does anyone have any other questions about it? Yeah, now's a good chance. Uh, I'm gonna post on Facebook as soon as this podcast is over. Um, so feel free to like that and all. All the, the cool stuff that you can do on Facebook. Put, get your comments. And then if no one has any other questions, do you want to do like general Q and A or um, any last topics you want to talk about either? For me, like like I said, like like I know like Genesis is coming up. Like I don't really care for talking about that too much. Uh, the only thing I want to mention is the only funny thing I do want to mention about Genesis is if you look at the seating. There's a very strong potential for Leffen getting the Hugs Duck Club bracket. Oh. So, <laughs> so like, that'd be pretty sick. But, oh my like, god! Like that, that's right now he's projected to play Duck and Club. Like obviously, like anything can happen. So those projections are weird and stuff. But like it, it's gonna be pretty funny. In two weeks, we'll we'll know what happened. All right. The first that circuit is, uh... then is the Sunday. So yeah, this Thursday, we'll go there. Use it as like your your last chance to to test what you want to do for the rest of the season. Uh, but try to try to take Sunday and every other Thursday at least as seriously. <laughs> so uh, I guess now we're getting into the question portion. 
Yeah. So we may as well. Uh, Q and A. Yeah. Well, it looks like Manka already has one. How do these people get into the RPI Smash Club group? Oh, you mean like uh, on Facebook or just? walk into the building and play some Smash Brothers. See, I heard at the end of last semester, they were actually starting to enforce more. Oh, I didn't wow. I didn't know because I just kind of waltzed in. They were like, oh, they didn't check you for that. I'm like, no, I just walked in. Like, yeah, I don't that's know. what I did so, too. So hopefully that's not an issue. If it is, we'll try to figure something out. I'd be but surprised. I, I don't see it. Uh, it would also be easy to handle. We'll just say that uh, we'll be we people that are guests come here really often on Friday night. Um, we have, uh, <clears throat> uh, if you're talking about the Facebook group, then, um, wait, what? um, if you're talking about the Facebook group, then, like, just share that with people. It's an open group. probably have more announcements posted there and everywhere else. Mostly the uh, mostly the Capital Region Smash place. That's a group. Uh, pick a main, maybe. Adam doesn't really like doing that. He's more of a sunshine player. He mains yeah. Flood. <laughs> oh. His Falcon's always been his best character, so if he really wants to go in, he'll go back to Falcon. I'm sure. Hey, actually, Xanda, does your uh, run of Sunshine involve using the Turbo Nozzle at all? No. Turbo Nozzle ah, okay. is not used in any percent. And the Rocket Nozzle is only used only in Corona. All the way at the end. Oh. Okay, so you definitely do not main the turbo nozzle. That's for right. sure. Definitely more of a, uh, a hover kind of guy. A hover with, uh, like, you know, you dabble in rocket for just a little bit. I do some rocket storage, yes. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's always good to learn uh, some tricks with your pocket characters. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all I am, after all. I have pocket characters for every matchup, specifically the only matchups that I ever play. Yeah, um, I guess to briefly answer one question. So Sam was asking why I was dismayed at his PM Pro-Am teammate of choice. I don't know. I, I just felt like you guys weren't in exactly in the spirit of teaming with someone weaker who you wouldn't necessarily team with. Cause like that, that's what's kind of cool about it to me. Like get to play with new people who usually wouldn't. So wait, wait hold on, what? So Sand and Pig are gonna team at PM on Sunday. So oh, like, oh man, oh, he's, and, uh, and I was like, guys, like, me, dude. Why, I was like, why are you doing this? I kind of went in a little bit too yeah, much. It's giving probably. up on the the game and watch Ganondorf dream, dude. Dude, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Wouldn't that be sick? <sighs> man, it, it's weird. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense because more people are actually gonna show up. But I mean, hey, we body people. Yeah, man. We got the dummies. Made, yeah, you guys made it work those times. So that's you the reason I got, I got kind of mad at you guys. I'm not really still <laughs> mad. It's whatever. I don't play that game. I'm more of a melee kind of guy. Hey, so. uh, gonna, one of the whole points well, of you know. uh, one of the whole points of pro amateur teams is that you get to do the the whole working together. And another point is you don't totally know who's gonna win. Um, it's more inviting for pro players to want to try to team with newer players or like yeah. anybody that they're interested in uh, without being too like oh well you're just PR in melee so I'll pick you yeah again I didn't want I'm sorry if I put you guys on blast too much you can do what you want it just seemed to me like like oh pro am all right cool you're pretty good let's do this it should be more like, oh, you're, you know, like, you're my homie, and that's cool and stuff. So maybe for bigger events, I don't exactly want to do that because, you know, I'm trying to get that shmoney at the bigger stuff. But at the same time, it's like, you know, for $1 pro am, like, I wouldn't be too worried about that. Yeah. Even though it's only $1, it sets too much of a precedence of, like, oh, people just want to abuse it. And, like, it's just not something that 
is good for the community. Like, if you think, you can either think of it as abusing it and trying just to win, or, like, earn a quick buck, or, like, oh, well, I don't really know uh, what's going to happen, because, like, I'm agreeing to work with other people. Pig has done well at some of the, the Tuesday weeklies that he went to. Like, it's been a while since he played PM, but, like, make no Anyone mistake, like, if he, was, if he was going to stuff, in, well for, he would be PR in PM. Like, yeah, anyone on the sure. melee PR could do well in PM. Yeah, that is guaranteed, pretty much. Yes. But, uh, you know, I sure do miss at least, you know, some of the guys who used to be PM regulars who I knew could put in work in melee, like Grunk. Yeah, Grunk is a homie, dude. He'd be fun yeah. to have around the way. He'd be a, actually Grunk would be cool for uh, melee pro am. Yeah, as exactly. An amateur person, that would be interesting. I know he knows yeah. Fox. Like, well, he does, but like at the same time, like he went zero two with the Arcadian. Like, not not trying yeah. to put Grunk on blast. But all I'm saying is like he wouldn't just yeah, be like an auto. Thing. Like, he wouldn't be like an auto. I'm good at PM, so it's gonna translate to melee because he plays Squirtle in PM. Like, that's the thing. So like he'd be like he'd be a cool person to see. Like, oh, what's gonna happen? Whereas Melee, I mean, everybody has their characters. It's very similar gameplay. You know, the matchups are different. You get hit kind of hard, but it's still pretty similar. Uh, the only problem with playing secondaries is like, oh, well, I could just team with GSO and we'll do double DK. That's fair, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, it's still too ranked. Mild players. DK. <laughs> Dude, yo, I, I've seen your Konga Bunga put in the work. Yo, <laughs> Konga Bunga? G GSO is like, yo, that'd be, that'd be pretty funny. But I would more so like to see that for an actual, like, bigger event rather than pro am. Yeah. Yeah, especially, like, in PM, double DK could do work. Double DK is super fun in Melee, too. <laughs> yeah, it's sick, Zach dude. the guy and I have tried out so many teams. Double Luigi is super fun. Uh, I love the Yah fair combos. Um, yeah, like, if I could do pro amateur with Brolita in Melee, I definitely would. And, oh, all I'd have to do is go secondary, we'll just do double Luigi. This is going to be super fun. Like, yeah, we're probably still an easy one seat or something. Um, <laughs> that's what I Yeah, think. right. Yeah, yeah, right. Our double if Luigi. I if I, if I team with two Saint, pick teams with GSO, no. You're I'm talking about pro amateur. Better. Oh, for pro am? Right, yeah, pro amateur Melee. I, about, I thought you were talking about just melee. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> well, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, so like that's kind of why I was not too happy. Like I said, if it's like if it's allowed by the rules, you guys want to do it this time, like you go for it. To me, it's I don't just think that's a good attitude, like, though. So well, there's no. I like, mean, oh, it's just go it's for being it. allowed, so I don't see a point in me ragging on them about it. Like, I think they deserve it. the ragging. Don't you? Well, you can do the ragging if you'd like. I feel that as I rag on it's people. One dollar, it's like it just sets a bad example for the community. This doesn't benefit what pro amateur doubles can do for the community. Pro amateur doubles can benefit, like, oh, this this person doesn't really like doubles. I'm gonna reach out to them, uh, and then one day maybe we'll even become uh, teammates or something. Guess yeah. what? That's happened before. Uh, and you don't oh. even know if you're gonna win. Um, well, that, that's to me. I'm gonna keep telling Malcolm, part, like, do it, like, uh, like as in ban it, because it's not good for the community. Uh, as much as it's worth one dollar, it's just not good. It doesn't set a good example for the community. Okay, I know, I know. But the thing is, like, at least for me personally, like, I've done my part. I've said my thing. Uh, if it is, if they are going to allow it, then I can't really say much more about it without me just you know, inserting too much personal bias into it, so you guys do what you gotta do. I'm probably not even entering PM dubs. Yeah, we got melee dubs. Well, Alright, so Stan, uh, I would like to point out if you and Pig wanted to do doubles very badly, I think you and Pig would be a great melee doubles team. Yeah, Because that's totally you were someone who yeah. you Actually, were someone who we mentioned. Perfect. We're like, yo, Stan's a pretty solid fox, he's not PR'd. Oh, Pig likes teaming with foxes? It, it sounds like good team to me. Two Saints San, like that sounds like a pretty cool pro am team. So like, I know PM is your game, so you probably prefer to do that. But like, I feel like that would be a lot more balanced than like 
him coming over to PM and resting people. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I say that, but like, I mean, he he will, dude. Like he's good at the dogs. Like he I do just... kind of think that it works a little differently in PM. Like I kind of think that as far as team strength goes, they do about as well in both games, even with PM kind of being on the uh, the relative uh, decline in players. It's still like um, Jigglypuff is, I guess. I don't even know. Is she different enough? Does her back air just not she's, work as well? My understanding is she's fairly fairly similar overall. It's just she's little aspects are weaker, and the entire cast is just better against her. So oh. I, I think people just kind of hit harder, and it's not good for Puff, particularly. Yeah. Well, but no one knows the matchup because no one plays Puff and Pia. Well, so like, yeah, they just kind of, I guess, in the same vein, uh, Pig would still have to figure out different rest setups on, like, I don't know. Up till rest works pretty well. So. <laughs> yeah, probably it works up pretty air, well. Up, like, up air rest still works pretty well on good yeah. characters. On like mid weights and the like. I guess that's true. Well, uh, I'll just have to see. If Sand makes him play Wario, that would be a very different. He just have to find setups in the fort. <laughs> and, you know, do without having five mid air jumps and the like. Yes. Yeah, so, anyways, like, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna rag on you guys anymore. Yeah. Whatever. That's your thing. Yeah. It's just time to, uh, we'll just see what happens. We will see what happens. Yeah. The uh, NLG biweekly is Sunday. That is this upcoming Sunday. That's also the first uh, tournament for the upcoming new circuit, replacing the ladder. Uh, opens at 12. That's at Next Level Gaming. You can find that on Facebook on the Capital Region Smash page. And uh, doubles happens first, followed by both games singles, right? Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. So last are we, are we, if anyone has any random questions that aren't too crazy or unfamily friendly, or family unfriendly, I should say. So like, if anyone has any like relevant questions, then that's cool. Actually, we'll, uh, we'll end the episode here. We'll stick around on stream, though. So thanks, guys, for watching. If you want to catch this again, uh, we'll, we are doing this every Tuesday, uh, but we're alternating with Smash 4. Um, so next week, Smash 4 episode. Week after, Melee episode. By that time, we'll be a little bit into the circuit, so we should have some uh, interesting things to talk about, like, oh, guess who won that bi-weekly that we're, we were talking about? It was me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not likely. Anyway, that will get brought up. If you win it, that's major news. That's getting brought up on the on the podcast. Is it? Yeah. Well, we'll talk pretty, about it. We'll, we'll definitely talk about it. If there are upsets, I'm sure we'll talk about them now because we got a whole circuit. So thanks for watching. We'll be back uh, 7:30 Tuesdays. That's when the episodes are. All right. All right cool. Later, guys.